अपॉर्चुनिटी सर अगर हम केपी और बलोचिस्तान की बात करें ओ ओके सर अगर हम केपी और बलोचिस्तान की बात करें तो हमने पिछले दो डेकेट्स में रिलीजियस एक्सट्रीमिज्म और फंडामेंटलिज्म टेररिज्म से बहुत सफर किया है लेकिन हमारी जो स्टेट है और पॉलिटिकल लीडरशिप उनकी एक सॉलिड यूनिफाइड पॉलिसी नहीं रही है इस एक्सट्रीमिज्म और टेररिज्म से मुतालिक फॉर इंस्टेंस टीटीपी को पहले आज़ाद छोड़ा गया फिर स्वात ऑपरेशन हुआ फिर उसके बाद जनरल फेज साहब आए उन्होंने उनको रीलिक्वेट करने की कोशिश की ट्राइबल एरियाज में फिर अब अफगान हुकूमत के साथ मिलकर उनके खिलाफ क्रैक डाउन हो रहा है इसकी वजह से जो पश्तून और बलोच यूथ है उन उनमें एक एंटी स्टेट और एक एंटी आर्मी सेंटिमेंट पाया जाता है जो कि आपको भी पता होगा और जो ट्रांसलेट करता है आइडेंटिटी पॉलिटिक्स में फॉर इंस्टेंस पुख्तून तहफ़ मूवमेंट बलोचिस्तान लिबरेशन आर्मी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई क्वेश्चन इज वाई हैज द स्टेट और द पोलिटिकल लीडरशिप स्पेशली ऑफ के पी एन बलोचिस्तान we not not been able to have this single unified policy against all sorts of terrorism so and what what's the solution how how do we avoid this kind of dilemma that we are in where are you from i'm from ardan kp pukhtun alaka aw pukhtun ha kena i mean i'm so happy that you raised this honest to god ek to ये जो आपके काउंटर uh, पार्ट्स है ना जो अदर प्रोविंस के पर्टिकुलरली सिंध और पंजाब दे दे आर वेरी नाइफ दे एट टाइम्स डोंट नो और दे हैव नॉट बीन थ्रू द एक्सपीरियंस प्रॉब्ली विच द पीपल फ्रॉम के पी एन एंड बलोचिस्तान एज गॉन थ्रू एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू वन ऑफ योर कॉलिग दैट they are more aware i feel politically our people are more conscious than these urban center kids and uh, no 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 offense it's just a political conversation our our people are have been more active in the movement of mrd they have been more uh, conscious in contributing uh, movement against one unit so on and so forth so our youth our political leadership have been very very active politically this is what i'm referring to you yeah, but the urban centers has more advantages the political side these rural class have uh, been more contributing towards shaping the political uh, landscape of pakistan uh, first of all what should be the relationship of violence and state let's address this question first let's bring it in a chronological order the state should have monopoly over violence if we settle on this question the later on uh, following chronological order can be explored and understood quite well now what happens that a group emerges within the society and it wants to have a share holding in the company of the state and it says no i also have got the right to violence if state can be violent why not me and for the political reasons that i will tell state how to translate its foreign policy i will tell state whom to align with i will tell state on the basis of either religion ethnicity whatever in our case religion and ethnicity too what is ttp why why ttp is killing us because they feel that we sided uh, with the americans Uh, in the war on terror this is the prime criticism of their so they want to determine the foreign policy on all of us through tool of violence that if you do not change this policy of yours i will blow myself and i will kill you this is what exactly we are doing and then in the society be it uh, political leadership based on nationalism ethnic nationalism religious nationalism or ethnic nationalism the role of of these leadership were that they had to educate and and contribute towards e- opinion making which unfortunately we are not doing what we are doing as i was referring over here that i am more interested in a constituency i want an applause on my question i want an applause on my answer and i see what is the rhetoric and the popular view amongst this audience and i align myself with this rhetoric 
I do not lead. I become a follower. So these leaders which probably you were referring to, to me they are all dwarfs, they are all followers. They are not leaders. If they would have been leaders, they would have dissected all these tendencies on historical basis. Do you know who the Khwarijis were? Most of you would know. If any religious leadership in Pakistan would have been genuine, they would have or should have a view on Khwarijis in the initial days of the Islam. Who accused Sayyidina Ali? Amir Mawi, he said, Dono kafir. When Amir Maljam was, was arrested and uh, he was asked, Kyo badbakht, tumne kyu uh, Asat Ali ko uh, mara? So he had no remorse. He had no remorse and he said, can I get a chance to eliminate Amir Mawi too? So this is the kind of attitude you are facing and you are mum and silent and ignorant and just growing beard and uh, interested in your audience which is more rhetorical, which is more popul uh, related to populism. What would be the end product? The end product would be the kind of a chaos we are experimenting in Pakistan. Same goes with, with our nationalist leaders. Wait, now this is my turn. You asked your question. Do you know your place in Mardan and my place in Quetta was sold about a hundred years back? Sold by whom? By our great Afghan compatriots. When no doubt Peshawar was Afghanistan, when no doubt Quetta was Afghanistan, but when the British Raj was extending towards uh, Tsarist Russia and the great game was happening in the treaty of Gandamak it was sold for some rupees so I am the sold part you are the sold part how come we uh, go back and who would uh, have uh, the settlement of this one century uh, which the payment, by the way, has been received by the people residing in Kabul and Kandahar. So we are the sold one. Has these national leadership told you that, uh, oh, our forefathers have sold us? Have you heard? I, I, do you want me to name them? I, I want to appoint. Some are from Charsada, some are from Gulistan, and some are now recently in PTM. Have they ever told you that we have been sold. Pashtuns have never been asked that what sort of a house they want in 5000 years of their history. Kaknika, who is the ancestral forefather of my tribe, is buried in Iraq who has a history of 5000 years. Never they have been asked once in 1947 and they chose to remain in Pakistan. So, uh, Pashtun has got all psychological, social, political, economical stakes in the state of Pakistan. The biggest Pashtun population is not in Kabul, not in Kandahar, not in Quetta, not in Peshawar, it is in Karachi. Probably now followed by Lahore. Go and see the slums of See. Uh, the surroundings of Lahore, uh, there is a huge Pashtun population even here now. The nation state is just like body politic. If you stop the blood flow movement, you will face death. The entire body politic of the nation state, the movement of the people has to be free. This is one of the basic definition of the state. Anyone can go to Waziristan and any Wazir can go and, and settle in Gwadar or in Karachi or anywhere else. You cannot restrict on the basis of identity and translate all the policies on that basis. The modernization phase in 21st century is gone beyond. You are living in the era of artificial intelligence and we are stuck that 
ग्वादर जो है वो बाहर के लोग नहीं आ सकते ओके okay? के आ सकते हैं वट इज द अमेरिकन एक्सपेरिमेंट अमेरिका टर्न इन टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू आई नो यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू यू एस वेदर समबडी एक्सेप्ट इज और डिनाइज इट वाई बिकॉज इट अट्रैक्टेड द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड आई कॉन्ट सेंड अ टीचर टू कलात और टू मस्तुम बिकॉज ही इज अ पंजाबी हाउ केन दिस सोशल एक्सपेरिमेंट ग्रो इट कॉन्ट वी हैव टू बी वेरी रियलिस्टिक नाउ लेट मी टेक द लास्ट वन ओके ये ये बच्ची इनसे पूछो um so sir ms the declining economic growth increase roz nama kudrat ki video dekhne ke liye ab youtube channel pe subscribe kare aur bell icon par bhi click kare